Social has been around for a while, probably actually about like 40 years-ish. Um, before this, um, it was like, it's more or less been in the family, um, to like some cousins of ours. And when we came to America, we like my dad started working here. After a couple years, they kind of passed down to him. And it's been going like that for the past couple of decades. Before then, it was like a bagel shop, like in the 70s. And then it got transferred into a Dominican restaurant. So the people that come here usually have been coming here for many years. So we have a lot of like uh, recurring customers. Um, you have the occasional people that like look us up online, you know, the new customers. Uh, I've been noticing a lot more uh, different faces coming by recently. I mean, I think that's more thanks to technology and all that, you know, people just looking up a new Hispanic place to try out. There's multiple castillos. There's one um, near Prospect. There's one in Flatbush. There's one in Manhattan. Another in Queens. We're all like cousins, family, everything. You got the stereotypical like um, mangu, uh, salami and cheese for breakfast. Then you have uh, the pork chops, chicharrón, all like the Dominican food. Yeah. And we're in between Bay Ridge, a very like more white neighborhood you could say, and then Park Slope too. It's pretty gentrified, I think you could say. Um, Sunset Park has kind of retained its roots. Eventually, you know, gentrification just happens, and I think you know it, it, it brings new people to the neighborhood and stuff. And if you want authentic Dominican food at a good price, it's the best place you can come to right now in Brooklyn.